It is Wednesday, December 5th. We welcome you to the Midland Civic Arena. It is time for winter sports to get underway here on MCTV. And it is time for high school hockey. Alongside Northwood hockey coach Mike Vesna, my name is Jason Harper. And Mike, tonight is an early season meeting between the Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers. And the theme for both of these teams this year, Mike, is young. Yeah, this is a perfect time for them to play in many ways because they get to settle the nerves. What are we at? Ten from both sides. Exactly. First time playing in a big Midland Dow game like this. The crowd will be electric. They'll learn how to control their views, how to control the tempers, and see what they can do on the ice against each other. Exactly. The gimmicks from the Chargers coming into this game. Both have got, you know, a lot of freshmen, both limited in their senior leadership for the contest here tonight and the Midland High Chemics under Coach Steve Witt, the Dow High Chargers under Coach Dick Blasey, and you mentioned nerves, so that's going to be a concern for both of these coaches. Yeah, and I mean, not only is it a young season, they're not playing, you know, the, they're not playing the way the coaches want them to play yet, so they got to groom them into that, but they also got to do it by, you know, controlling their, their emotions. You're going to have the big high hits. How are they going to react? And the other question, when you take a look at uh, at these teams, is what are you going to get from the goalies? What are you going to get from your defensemen? And who's going to be able to strike first offensively this early in the in the season? Those are unanswered questions. If you take a look at the birthday boy, Midland High coach Steve Wed, who is celebrating a birthday today, you know, and that question that both of these coaches have is, what kind of game are we going to have? Are we going to fit into a into a style, or are we just going to play, you know, back and forth hockey? Well, I, I mean, I think you got Booza in that for the Chemics. He's been here before. He knows what he's got going on. So therefore, he basically he's going to be able to stand up defensively. Tao High, let's you know, let's not forget they've got some pretty high, powerful offensive weapons too. So, you know, you got good offense, good defense. We'll see what happens. Dick Blasey Jr., the head coach of the Dow High Chargers, on your screen just a few moments ago in the middle of his assistant coaches. Another interesting note of this game, Mike, is this year both coaches have. Their sons that they are they're playing. Of course, last year Dick Blasey went through that, but this year Steve Wood has his freshman son on the hockey team as well. So that's always an interesting dynamic. Well, it's an interesting dynamic because from a coach's point of view, you know you don't want to play that dad card, that favoritism card. So realistically, both these sons they've got to earn it a little bit more than than they might have if they had a different style of coach. But both of them deserving to be here, both solid, sound hockey players. It'll be fun to see how it goes. High school hockey coming your way here on MCTV. Glad you could be with us. A great crew of volunteers on hand as well for the contest here between the Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers. About a half a dozen cameras bringing you the action at MCTV. And, and you know, de definitely fortunate to have a public access station in Midland bringing high school sports to the airwaves. Of course, we got basketball coming up this holiday season. Wrestling, more basketball, more hockey, all coming up next year. Dow High Chargers coming into this contest with a two and one record. They are coming off a uh, weekend tournament in the Grand Rapids area. The Midland High Chemics coming into this game with a one, one and one record. Midland High is coming off a tie against Gaylord that Steve Witt says was the best and most entertaining game that uh, he has seen in a long time. Both the uh, Midland High goalie Luke Buza and the Gaylord goalie had 30 saves each in a 0-0 tie. Now, some people may look at that and say, that's not exactly, you know, fun to watch, but Steve said it was highly entertaining. Well, if you're throwing 30 shots on each net, that means you're going up and down the ice quite often, and you're getting a second scoring opportunity. So to see, you know, a young goalie stand on their head, what a, you know, that's exciting in itself, but just the fact that you're going up and down the ice and you're not just staring in one end. Let's turn things over to public address announcer Ron Williams for tonight's starting lineup. Friends and neighbors from across town, the Dow High Chargers. In the game that really needs no introduction, Dow High against your Midland Kimmicks. Let's introduce our starting lineups for tonight's game. For the Dow High Chargers at defense, number 22, Sean, a strike. At defense, number 55, Joey Johnson. At forward, number two, Cam Patty.
At forward, number 82, Alex Newton. At forward, number 96, Luke Blasey. And in goal number 30, Mark Fishman. The Chargers are coached by Richard Blasey. And now, for your Midland Chemics, presented tonight by the Midland Amateur Hockey League Pee Wee Team. At defense, and presented by Aramis Ritter, number five, Cade Nielsen. At defense, and presented by Caden Gertz, number 13, Travis Grimaldi. At right wing, presented by Brooke and Gillis, number nine, Cam Gardner. At left wing and presented by Jordan McGregor, number eight, Tanner Squires. At center and presented by Landon Reynolds, number 12, Ethan Snuddy. And in goal, presented by Ashton Reinke, number 35, Luke Booza. Cummings are coached by Steve Witt, assisted by Kevin Blasey, and Nick, and Nick Memo, and uh, Chad Sumption. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, let's all please rise. Gentlemen, remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem. Tonight, we have a singer, Sydney Lewandowski, a junior at Midland High School. She is involved in Meisters and Marching Band and sings in the jazz band. Once again, tonight's singer, Sydney Lewandowski. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight? Or oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say. Nicely done. A beautiful job of our national anthem. Compliments of Midland High student Sydney Lewandowski. And we are set to go with high school hockey here on MCTV and MPF TV. The Midland High Chemics in their home white uniforms and the Dow High Chargers wearing their visiting green uniforms. 
for the contest. And we mentioned the opening, Mike. Both of these teams very young, about 20 new players, a lot of freshmen, only a few seniors on each of these teams. So nerves are going to be an issue. You're playing in a big game. And a lot of these players have played in state championship games and big games as they're in their amateur hockey career. But now you've got the Midland Dow game. You've got a big crowd on hand. you got a little bit of nerves to start the contest off. Well, absolutely. They, like I said, grew up playing with each other. Now they're playing against each other, which adds to the nerves a little bit. But until you actually experience live, you really don't know what you're up against. The Dow High Chargers will have Cam Petty, Alec Newton, and Luke Blasey up front for Dow High. Shane A. Strike and Joey Johnson will be back on defense. Midland High countering with Tanner Squire, Cam Gardner, and Ethan Snoddy up front. Travis Grimaldi and Kate Nielsen will be on defense. Midland High will have Luke Busa, the sophomore goalie in that. The Dow High Chargers are countering with senior Mark Fishman that will be in net for the Chargers. So here we go, getting set for high school hockey here on MPS TV. They drop the puck, we are underway. The Kimmicks will control early on, dumbing it down into the Dow High zone. One of the players to watch tonight happens to be the defenseman for the Dow High Chargers, Joey Johnson, one of the best defensemen in the state, according to both of the coaches that we talked to before we went on the air. Dow High currently ranked number 13 in some early polls. They would have to be considered the favorite, but the Midland High Kimmicks have the ability to hang with anybody, albeit they are young. Cam Gardner taking a shot from the blue line. Fishman has no problem making a kick save. If the Kimmicks go for a line change, we'll see if the Chargers can take advantage of it. Tried to shoot it down, but just out of the reach of their forwards. The putt goes behind Busa. Tried to center it up, but nobody was there. Midland will come back the other direction. Again, taking a shot from the blue line was Kate Nielsen so that the Kimmicks could go into a line change, setting it up for Nathan Witt. Witt is the nephew of Coach Steve Witt. Those a uh, couple of uh, cousins that have played a lot of hockey together. Nathan is the older. He is the nephew. Matt Witt is Coach Steve Witt's son. He was just a freshman. Shot from the blue line by the Chargers goes wide, centering it up again, but unable to get to it. They were looking for Lucas Churchfield in the middle of the... Uh, of the rink. Midland High will clear it out. Kimmicks skating down. Tyler Pritchett, he's got a lot of speed. Didn't use it on that drive if Midland High dumps it down into the corner. Both teams trying to feel each other out. Captain playing nicely there by the Kimmicks. That's Connor Dunlap. He was just a freshman. We'll see a lot of faces playing in their first Midland Dow game. Both of these teams have played three games on a very young season. Chargers with one loss. Kimmicks have got one loss. Millen also with a one tie that we talked about earlier. The puck in neutral ice. Kimmicks will try to clear that out as they work down into the corner, battling for the puck. Ethan Snotty, he's a sophomore, has the puck taken away. By the Dow High Chargers who come back the other direction. Shane A-Strike, he's a senior, trying to go coast to coast. A-Strike looking for somebody to center it up. Now he's going to try to take it himself. A-Strike still working the puck for the Dow High Chargers. He'll dump it back behind the Midland High net. Dow High still working with the puck, trying to find somebody up front. They do so. They find Ryan Stettelmeyer. He's a freshman. Stettelmeyer will send it across if they battle in front of the Midland High students. Midland High clears it briefly, but the Chargers will take it back in neutral life and dump it back into the Midland High zone. Kimmicks will send it into the net. We'll have our first whistle and a chance for the teams to make a line change. Yeah, so far, uh, you know, just up and down the ice so far, Midland High looks like it's content right now to get the puck deep, try to go get it. Tau High a little more uh, control-oriented. A-strike using his size and speed a little bit to try to muscle the defenseman for the Kimmicks, but so far, up and down action. 14-14 on the clock here in the first quarter. No score. Johnston getting sent off the ice for must be the equipment repair. Yeah. That is something that hopefully the uh, Chargers will take care of very quickly. I think he may have lost the neck pad. Uh, the, uh, the neck pad. Yeah, well, he got uh, sent off by the officials, so something wasn't right. Safety first. Midland High wins the faceoff. Tyler Pritchett on the far side working the buck for the Kimmicks. Pritchett being double teamed, gets hit into the corner. Nice check by Mason Reed. Kimmicks able to recover. Midland High keeping it in the end of the zone. Another 
good hit if Pritchett tries to work it out. Pritchett still in control. Dow High, a little more physical than Midland early on, and the Chargers not afraid to play physical hockey, although Dick Blasey told us that they have to limit the penalties that they get from that sometimes physical play. There's a takeaway by the Chargers. Dow High coming back the other direction. Luke Blasey with a shot on goal, and Luke Bootha able to make the save. Yep, just throw the puck on that, see what happens, but uh, realistically harmless shot. Two on three situation, but now Dow High gets a chance for an attacking zone faceoff. Luke Blasey, the junior and coach of son for Dow High, had the game winning goal in the last game that the Chargers played a couple of days ago. There's a shot taken by Joey Johnson and a little uh, pushing and shoving in front, a little introducing to each other. Well, Wagner going in for the rebound, maybe a tad bit late. You gotta protect your goalie. Johnson back on the ice, like you said, equipment's fixed and uh, gets that shot on goal off the faceoff. Dow High with two shots on goal. There's a shot on goal that came off of the faceoff. Uh, They're going to keep an eye on the centers on these faceoffs because they have been getting a little lively. Everyone getting a little more contested. Midland High will come across dead to neutral life. Kemmick's working it down with Ethan Snoddy working the putt. Snoddy had it taken away by Charlie Johnson of the Dow High Chargers. Dow High coming with the puck away from their own net, but still in that Dow High zone. Kemmick's trying to take it away. Goes into neutral ice. Kemmicks will come up with the puck, getting back across. And a uh, shot there, kind of just send it down so they can make a line change, and Fishman was forced to make the save. Yeah, I mean, right in his breadbasket, so it was a harmless shot. But realistically, he just had to kind of freeze there because you stand up, leave a rebound, bad things can happen. So attacking zone faceoff for the Kemmicks. Let's see how they do. 12.50 to go, just underway. High school hockey and off of the faceoff, the Kimmicks winning that faceoff had a shot that went to the right hand side of Fishman. Chargers will come back the other direction, stopped in neutral ice by the Kimmicks, and a hand pass will send the faceoff down into the Midland High zone. Yep, I think Witt was just going to hand pass it to himself, just got away a little bit. But, you know, a turnover by the Kimmicks puts them deep in their own defending zone. Officiating crew tonight Andy Pavlich, Andy Barriman, Mike Myers, and Joe Kanapik are the four individuals wearing the stripes for the contest here tonight. A four-man officiating crew, something that the high school hockey has uh, kind of used on a trial basis. After a shot on goal, Midland comes back. Tyler Pritchett takes a shot that goes wide, but it stays into play. Yeah, Booza with a big save down in his defensive zone. Guy walks out, finds somebody open. Nathan Witt had the puck briefly. Now they work down to the corner. Chargers coming away with the puck, looking to clear it down. They do so nicely. Had a man up front. Is Luke Blasey. Blasey skating in. A nice defense that time around by Nathan Witt, not allowing Blasey to get a good shot. Working in the corner. Who will emerge with the puck? It looks like Blasey will. Centers it up towards the blue line. Shot taken. Goes wide of Luke Bootha in the Midland High net. Cleared back down to the other end. Chemex go for a line change. Set one man down, everybody else says let's change. Now the Chargers will come back the other direction. Midland High, Ethan Snotty. He was just a sophomore though. We talk about how young everybody is, so it's hard to, to say, hey, you know, this player's young, that player's young. All but four or five players on the ice are young. Yeah, and the, the, the turnovers with the young guys are what you worry about early. A strike again using his size and speed, taking a nice shot just a little high. A strike was able to skate in nicely into that zone, but unable to get a shot on goal. And with man left all alone out front too. D, D and uh, Midland High side gonna have to be wary of that out front. Good physical play from Travis Grimaldi allows Midland to come away with the puck. Now the Chargers, Mason Reed, the sophomore. Trying to clear by, trying to get by Tanner Squires, and Dow High will come away, sending it down into the neutral Two line. On one, look out. Cam Petty forward, and the shot is off the mark on the right hand side. Patty had a nice, or Patty had a nice pass for the Chargers, but the shot went wide. Well, the freshman from Midland High playing defense right there took the wrong guy. You got to take the center away, let that shot come from the side. Instead, that shot comes right down the gut. You know, missed the net. Booza was there. No score. 
And we're going to have an icing call. Just over 10 minutes to go in the contest. And I think the, the longer that this game goes without a score, the more of an advantage it is for Midland. I think if you're the Dow High Charger, if you want to score quickly, Midland may be more content to ride this game out longer. Well, Midland High, they're, they're so far just playing get the puck deep and try to keep it in the attacking zone, where Dow High is definitely doing the tic-tac-toe passing, trying to get the better scoring opportunities. But Midland High doing a good job of clearing the puck rather quickly as well. Kimmich's had a chance off of the faceoff for a shot, but it was blocked by some of the Dow High defensemen. That's a strength on this Dow High team. If their defensemen, there's a good check into the corner by the Kimmich's as they keep the puck down in front of the Dow High fans, but Dow High comes away with it. A strike. Skating on a breakaway, a strike will have the puck taken oh, away from it. behind. Oh, he came back. No, he boos a. Buza kind of overplayed just a little bit and it just snuck it way right underneath him. That's what we're talking about, A strike size and speed. He got the speed through the neutral zone. The uh, the, the freshman for Midland High just wasn't able to skate with him. Well, let's take a look at it. It looked like the, the puck was going to be taken away right there, and it wasn't. Instead, a great job by Shane A strike of keeping the puck on the stick and able to put the, uh, the yep. puck into the goal. Yep, I think Booz would like to have that back, but he got a piece of it. Just a little dragger. Midland High has got to have somebody else backtracking because if they got somebody crashing the net backwards on that, they might have been able to stop that from going in. So the Dow High Chargers take an early one to nothing lead with nine and a half minutes to go. Let's, let's take a look at this Murphy from, uh, from a different angle this time around. As the, from behind Luke Bufa. The yeah, that's, oh, he did get a piece of it, just not quite enough. I got to wonder if Bufa thought that maybe that puck had been deflected. I thought the puck had been deflected, and A-Strike just did a great job of keeping Well, yeah, he the, kicked the it off the, the skate puck. and put it right back up onto a stick, so great concentration on A-Strike to get it back on a stick. But uh, the middle of the defense, they have to understand his size and speed. You want to challenge him, but you got you got to be closer to him than that. Blasey had a strong shot, but Bufa coming up with a save this time around. Puck in neutral life. Chargers are going to set up the play. Joey Johnson skating it in on the left-hand side. Ch Johnson with a shot, Bufo with the save. Yeah, again, I mean, you got the defense speed. They just take off running. Good shot on goal, good scoring opportunity. Bufo positioned well, good save. Now we know Luke Bufo's good. He had 30 saves in the last Midland High game, but you don't want your goalie to face that many shots on a regular basis. Well, I mean, no, and you know, he's probably already up to 10 or 12 here today. And we're still halfway through the first. Kimmich with the puck if they skate across the middle. And that one took a weird bounce. Dow High trying to pass it forward. It got by the middle and high defenseman. Now it's a foot race. And Luke Bufa coming out of the net in order to try to deflect that puck away. Does so, so the Kimmicks will come back the other way. Three on two advantage for Midland. Tried to drop it behind, looking for uh, Gavin Moe, but Moe went left and the puck went right. Yeah, those drop passes at the blue line can be dangerous too because that, that can be an odd man rush against you real quickly. Now the Chargers, Lucas Churchfield, his shot will be deflected off the skate of the defenseman, and we have a stoppage of play with Eight minutes to go here in the first period. Dow High leading one to nothing over the Midland High Chemex in a early season meeting. This is the non-Saginaw Valley contest. These two teams will meet in February, and that will be a Saginaw Valley contest. The teams are not in the same division for the playoffs, but neither coach is worried about playoffs right now. They want to still figure out the uh, the lines to go with and. We didn't mention, but the Dow High Chargers already hit by the injury bug. They've got three players not dressed for tonight's game. Yeah, injuries early are always tough because you're still developing your line, you know, who works good with each other, who can do what. But it's part of the game. Shot by Johnson, uh, deflected by, or handed by Bufa, who hands it to one of his players, but it's kept into the zone by Dow High. There's another save made by Bufa on a shot taken from the blue line by Mason Reed. In the corner, Kimmich's trying to clear. That's not gonna happen. Reed will keep it in play again for the Chargers. Millen Hives, Cade Nielsen coming out from the
the side. Nielsen will skate into neutral ice. Nielsen still has the puck. Goes into the Dow High zone. Nielsen still working it. Nielsen trying to go coast to coast and could not come up with the shot, but able to get that puck down onto the opposite end for the Midland High Kimmix. Yeah, nice rush by Nielsen. Get her deep. Go get it. Looking to be cleared out. Blasey will pass it over for the Dow High. Johnson will skate it across the blue line. Looking for Blasey, but a kick save made by Booth. A rebound shot goes wide behind the net. Looking for it again. The puck is still loose, but the Chemex will come away with it. Tyler Pritchett will look to clear it out and does so over to Gavin Moe. Moe is just going to dump it in for the Chemex who are in the middle of a line change. Yeah, Dow High with a great scoring opportunity there. Most of the Midland High players focusing on Johnson as he is so big and fast. Left that third man trailer wide open for a really good scoring opportunity. Gavin Moe again. And a kick save made. Rebound. Pritchett had a shot. Second rebound and the shot goes wide. Fishman is without a stick. But now he'll have a chance to grab it. Midland High with their best scoring chance. Now Dow High will come back looking to center it. Mo clearing it out, dumping it down. Trying to get free with Matt Webb, but he could not do it. Chargers come back the other direction. John Wagner working the puck down to the corner. Centers it up, nobody there. Five and a half to go here in the first period. One to nothing in favor of Dow High. Shane A strike, the only goal of the game thus far. Kemmick will clear. And Fishman will stop, so the Chargers will set up their play. If the Kimmix and the Chargers both take advantage of the line change, kept in play, and a shot taken from the right-hand side goes wide. Another shot sent towards the net, but nobody there to worry about a rebound. Hard hit goes into the corner. Chargers playing that physical hockey, and it's working very well. A couple of great physical blocks so far. Great checks by the Chargers. Caden Critz working for Dow High. Dumps it down into the zone. Trying to center it up. The Chargers are looking for Nolan Sanders. He's a freshman on that second line for the Chargers in the middle. Dow High will clear it over to Mason Reed. Reed's shot doesn't get through the defenseman. Midland sends it down, but again... A dangerous situation. Now Nolan Sanders will take a shot. Bufa comes up with the save. Kimmick trying to just dump it away so they can do some frequent line changes, but they're leaving the Dow High Chargers undefended and open ice. Tyler Pritchett working across for the Kimmicks. Pritchett across the blue line takes a shot at about two Chargers on him and nobody trailing, nobody for Pritchett to pass to. Chargers back the other direction. A strike. Centers it up over to Blasey. Blasey has the puck taken away. Midland High looking to go with Travis Grimaldi across the blue line. Grimaldi looking to skate in. Backhand Sid, but Fishman able to slide the puck across and come up with the save. Midland High looking to center it up and a great scoring chance there. Tanner Squires had an open shot, but Fishman comes up with the save. Yeah, Dow High over pursued along the boards there. So Midland High with a great opportunity with the guy wide open out front. But uh, Dow High goalie stood up to the task, ready to go. Mark Fishman doing a great job in net for the Dow High Chargers. Had that shot, kind of a breadbasket shot, but still, sometimes those can catch you off guard. Well, yeah, I mean, the shot's got to be quicker than that because obviously Fishman did have a chance to square up on it, but you got to attack the net too because if, if he drops that puck anywhere, it's a wide open rebound with not a Dow defender in sight. Three and a half to go here in the first. Dow High leading one to nothing. Midland High winning the faceoff. The Kimmicks have won more of the faceoffs than the Chargers have. And they've had a couple of quick shots off of the faceoff, but only about two or three scoring opportunities here in the first period for Midland. Three on two opportunity. We'll see what the Kimmicks do this time around. Tanner Squires had to hesitate briefly to make sure that nobody was offside, and that hesitation allows the Chargers to come back in the other direction. Yeah, Dow High does a good job. As soon as that puck gets deep, they're spreading the ice, they're sending their forwards off, and uh, they're getting out of the zone fairly easy. I think Coach Witt's going to want a little bit more of a 
attacking, you know, forwards in the attacking zone so that they can get some uh, offensive presence going. Good job by Lucas Churchfield coming off the bench for the Dow High Chargers. And I don't know if Midland saw him coming and Churchfield able to swoop that puck up and came up with a shot that ended up going wide. Face off will be to the right hand side, won by the Chargers. Quick shot by Churchfield, but Bufa able to come up with the save. Midland clears it down. Chargers send it back into neutral ice. Dow High's Mickey McMahon, he was, a, he was a junior, kept the puck in play. Now a shot from the blue line is off the mark. Chargers keep it in play. Another shot. That one by Joey Johnson and a kick save being made. Kimmich looking to come back the other way. They get the puck briefly into neutral life before the Chargers will drop it back the other direction. Dow High tried to keep it in play, but it just goes outside of the blue line, so everybody's got to touch up and the battle right now between the blue lines. Chargers will dump and go for a line change. 95 seconds to go. Tyler Pritchett has the puck for a Midland shot and a save made by Fishman. Yeah, you know, the last two, three minutes, Midland High doing a better job of getting pucks on net. Got to get those shots just either a little lower so you get a rebound off the pads or maybe a little higher trying to pick a corner. So far, Fishman up to the task, but most of them have been uh, breadbasket shots. But, you know, shots are shots. Of the Chemex, Ethan Snoddy will take the face off. Snoddy has been very good in the circle, but that time around it was Cam P Patty that ended up winning the face off. Chargers looking to set something up as Charlie Johnson works the puck for Dow High, moves it forward, but the pass from Blazey goes nowhere, and the Midland High Chemex will have a chance to try to set something up. They've got a man. They've, we're looking for Tanner Squire. Squire takes the shot. It goes high. Squire was in the position that he wanted to be, but unable to get the puck on net. Under a minute to go here in the first period. Chargers, Cam Patty takes the shot. Deflected by defenseman. Goes down rebound. Now it's Blazy. Oh, beautiful shoots shot. Scores. Left alone. Blazy left on alone. They found him. <laughs> yeah, don't want to leave Luke Blazy alone. Blazy on the trail, and he was all by himself. He takes advantage of it, scoring the second goal for the Dow High Chargers. Take a look. Yeah, in order to bottle, look at the pretty shot just off the post and in. Never doubt. A great job by Cam Patty as well. Patty had that backhand pass, and Blazy was right there, able to put the puck into the net, and the Chargers with a 2 to nothing lead with 42 seconds to go here in the first period. So the advantage goes to the green and gold of Dow High. Blazy picking up the goal with the assist made from Patty. 30 seconds left in the period. Midland High trying to get down into that Dow High zone, but stolen away by Churchfield. Now Midland trying to keep it in. Nielsen looking for some place to go. He's got a lot of chargers on him. And the turnover forced by Dow High into the corner, centers it up, and nobody there. Yeah, all the Kamiks are sitting up at the blue line, ready, trying to get out of there. John, three chargers down low. Yeah, John Wagner did a terrific job of stealing that puck away and setting something up for Dow High. Final second ticking off the clock, and the first period comes to an end here at the Midland Civic Arena. And the Dow High Chargers with a two to nothing lead over Midland High. And this was a uh, the first period kind of back and forth. Both teams had scoring chances, but I think the Chargers using their uh, speed a little bit to their advantage here tonight. Yeah, you look at the shots on goal, they're probably fairly equal. But if you go look at the quality scoring opportunities, Dow High with the edge, um, a little better shot quality. But you're right, using their speed and size to give them the advantage in the attacking zone. So Dow High will skate off with a two to nothing lead, but there is still a lot of hockey left to be played here at the Civic Arena. Glad you are with us here on MPS TV. If the Kimmicks and the Chargers do battle, we'll take a quick break, come back, get ready for period number two. Chargers with a two to nothing lead. You're watching high school hockey on MPS TV.
an amazing studio, fantastic equipment, and a stellar production trailer, there's no better time to become an MCTV producer or volunteer. You can even make your own television show. Check out some of our upcoming training dates and call our station to get started today. For more information on training or anything else related to MCTV or MGTV, make sure you check out the city's website and don't forget to like MCTV on Facebook. We are back at the Midland Civic Arena High School Hockey on MPF TV, getting ready for period number two. The Dow High Chargers on top of Midland High, two to nothing. Jason Harper along with Northwood coach Mike Vesna on hand for the action. And Vesna, let's uh, take a look at some highlights from period number one. Yep, sounds good. Good period up and down the ice for the first uh, probably 10 minutes or so. Oh, nice, that's you can see. Chargers start off the uh, hitting a little bit early. Dow High starting the shots on goal a little bit early. That would be first. Real good quality scoring sure, opportunity. Yeah. Just shot it wide. But a nice little game. skate to stick backhand. Just barely snuck under Booza. Nothing High is really good scoring opportunity, but good hard back checking nullified even a shot on goal. And right there, another bread basket shot. Got to try to pick a corner maybe a little bit. But still, getting the puck on net, crashing net, maybe you'll get a rebound. But that was a real, real pretty tic-tac-toe play. Right out, perfect shot off the post and in. Not much Booza can do on that one. And the pass from Patty gave, you know, Blasey that golden chance to, uh, to score. That was the second goal of the game. But I think you said something during that highlight package, Vesey, that you know, Midland High shots have all been bread basket shots. They've got they've got to do something different. Go down low, go down high, do, do something. Because right now everything's right in the gut of Fishman. Well, there's no rebounds, and when you don't go in the bread basket, it just it's a whistle. Sure, you get the face off in the attacking zone, which is nice. But try to put it off the pads, get an offside winger crashing hard. Try to make something happen. You know, Grant Dow's defense doing a good job of keeping the shots coming from afar. But the way to combat that is make sure you put the puck on that low enough so you get a rebound, crash in that hard, and see if you can't get some garbage goals. Getting ready for the second period. The team's uh, still in the locker room. So while we have a moment, let's let you know that the coverage of this hockey game produced by MCTV volunteers. If you'd like to work on a show like this one or one of the numerous other programs that are being filmed out and about the community. Come to the MCTV producer workshop and learn how to be a producer, create a studio program, edit using Final Cut Pro editing software and all that plus more. For more information, become an MCTV volunteer. Go online to the City of Midland website or call 837-3474. Find out how you can become and MCTV volunteer. You can do your own thing. You can work on shows. We've got symphony concerts uh, filmed on a regular basis. A, a lot of different programming that I think that sometimes the uh, we can take for granted. Sometimes you're strolling through and you say, hey, I missed the symphony concert. I'm going to watch it. I missed that basketball game. I'm going to watch it. I missed the uh, church service this week. I'm going to watch it on TV. All of that possible because of MCTV volunteers. Now the second period about to get started, Mike, and the Dow High Chargers up two to nothing. I think Dick blazey has got to be pleased with what he saw in the first period. Yeah, Midland High was uh, not in their attacking zone very often, so Dow High did a good job of getting the puck out. But I like Dow High doing there too, as they attacked the center ice zone with speed. They got it through it and got the puck deep and got quality scoring opportunities. If you're the Midland High Chemics, if you're Coach Steve Witt, You've got to make some adjustments. You didn't play a bad period. You had a couple of scoring chances. You gave up, you know, one that one really good goal and one that could have been stopped. But you know, that, that's the game of hockey. But you've got to make some adjustments getting that puck and getting the quality shot. Yeah, you got to get the puck on net just as much as you did, but try to get some second chance points. But from a defensive point of view, you can't have everybody focusing on the guy with the puck. You got to pick up the loose guys skating through the middle because they're the dangerous ones. We'll see what adjustments these teams make as we start the second period. And Luke Blasey will have the puck for the Dow High Chargers. His shot goes wide. Dow High will keep it in play. Mason Reed near the blue line, trying to find Blasey again. He'll be deflected off into neutral life. And 
Shot back in towards the Midland High net. Midland High now coming back the other direction. Tyler Pritchett trying to get free but could not do it. You know, Midland High playing a little physical right out of the shoot. Maybe they talked about that too, you know. Let them know we're here. At the first period, the Chargers were a little more physical. How about the fact that no penalties in the first 17 minutes of this contest? Both coaches have got to be very pleased with that. Absolutely. If Northwood Hockey ever had a game without a penalty in the first, yeah, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> now you're dreaming. <laughs> Midland High trying to clear it in the corner, looking to go all the way down the ice, and they do. Icing is going to be the call if nobody could get to it. Now send the puck back down for the faceoff on Luke Busa's side. Just underway here in the second period. Dow High leading two to nothing. Shane A strike and Luke Blasey with the two goals for the Dow High Chargers. Well, Midland High trying to spread things a little bit there on that icing play, which is all right. Get your forwards taken off if you get an opening. Try to create that scoring opportunity. Face nice not all bad. One by the Chargers. Kimmick, however, will come away with it. Gavin Moe trying to center it up, and we got the net that is off the uh, off the mark, so that will stop play. Yeah, Midland High knocking the net off accidentally, so the faceoff will stay deep. That is something that has been a point of emphasis this year for the high school hockey officials, is you know, keeping that uh, that net on as much as possible, and they have added a couple of pretty stiff penalties if they deem that that the net is knocked off intentionally it will lead to a uh, to a penalty shot yeah it's uh you know it's the tricky goaltenders and some of the defenders they use it as a tool to slow play down or even get a stopper to play but wanting to keep play moving and keep things fair always trying to get crafty with the rules Joe Kanapik, not only is he a quality official, but he can also repair the ice for you. There you go. Now we're set to go. Face off to the right hand side of Busa. The Midland High Kimmicks will win the face off this time around. Breakout pass behind him. You got to hit him in stride so he can go through the center ice zone with speed. Instead, right back in your defensive zone. Have some of the inexperience of the Midland High Chemics coming through, not only in the first period, but here early in period number two. We mentioned on the onset, 10 players for Midland High playing in their first uh, game. Yeah, base strikes and going. we've had a, uh, the first penalty of the contest. Shane A. Strike said, what did I do? Well, what you did was uh, well, they're gonna they're call him for interference. Are they calling they're going to call him for interference. The reason he got there just a little, little quick Watch the puck right well he did have the puck but it's just kind of a dangerous play I think is why I got called as much as anything you get the head contact going well I thought maybe that's what they they called initially was maybe they thought a little bit of a, a cross check here you, you see Shane a strike uh, talking to the backup goalie not sure I don't yeah, know let's see what he calls yeah they yep. did call interference but I don't know it was a bang bang play. I think it just looked like it was an aggressive play. You know, it's kind of a suicide pass coming across out of the corner like that, but A strike will argue that all day long that it was a shoulder. There. Nice play. There and it how is. How about that? Power play goal for the Midland High Chemex. Tanner Squires uh, able to twist and spin and get the puck into the net. Take advantage of the power play. The Chemics are on the board. Well, you watch this. All four defenders are just staring at the puck, looking over where it is. And Squires, just who's on the boards, just sneaks in out of nowhere. There he is, a little spinorama. Puck in the back of the net. But uh, nobody keeping an eye on that back door, as we call it. We got ourselves a game, two to one. Now we saw a couple of defensive breakdowns by Midland in the first period, and that time Dow High trying to kill the power play, but they had the breakdown leaving Squires wide open, and the Kimmicks take advantage of it, two to one. Yeah, Squires with a good job sneaking in right at the last minute. Dow High trying to come back the other way. Tanner Squires will get the goal on the nice backhand. They're going to give Matt Witt the assist. On the play. Two to one. Dow High still maintaining the lead. 14-15 on the clock here in the second period of play. 
Well, you get your freshman and your sophomore there getting a little experience, getting their name on the board on the announcement system. Nice power play goal. This time, Tyler Pritchett will have the puck for Midland. Looking to go somewhere. He still has control of the puck. If Pritchett skates behind, he'll get checked into the boards. Midland High working behind the net. A fisherman who lost track of the puck briefly, but Midland High unable to capitalize on it. Yeah, a, a strike unfathomed by the uh, the penalty right back at the physical play. Yeah, if you're a Midland High fan, then you're thinking, yeah, that was a penalty. If you're a Dow High fan, you're thinking, no way should that have been called. So it's all a matter of perspective. Well, we got to see it slow where, you know, the puck actually did beat him there before the hit. So interference. But when you're an official watching that, it did look like he got him right before the puck arrived. Live, it looked like interference in slow motion. It looked like a good hit. So we like you said, Dow High not happy, Midland High. And we've, we've got a good officiating crew on hand tonight. Andy Pavlovich and Andy Barrington, Mike Meyer, John Kanapik. Yeah, these guys are all college officials, so they know what they're doing. They're used to the pace. Chargers with the puck, Joey Johnson. And it went off the stick of the defenseman, Nathan Witt doing a nice job that time around. Again, the net goes off its hinges. But if you see there again, the third man in the zone for Dow, he had a beautiful two on two going. Shot goes wide, third man in the zone for Dow High, left alone. It's gonna, it's gonna cost you if you can't pick up that trailer. That may be something that Dow High will want to capitalize on. And as the game progresses, they did a pretty good job of that in the, in the first period of doing just that. Yeah, finding that, that third man in the zone, that's where a lot of the quality scoring opportunities come from. Midland's got to keep their head on a swivel. Everybody's got a job to do, and everybody's got to do it. Early in the season, Dow High is ranked number 13. They're down in Division Three this year. Midland High will play up in Division One. Cleared out by Nate Witt that time around. The puck just kind of sitting in front of the net there. Yeah, Cleared down for a nice play, good goal. clear. Yeah, take the icing instead of a scoring opportunity against. Two to one in favor of the Chargers. Dow High scoring both of their goals in the first period. Midland High had a power play goal just a few moments ago by Tanner Squires. And a whistle. You mentioned that the faceoffs were getting a little jumpy. That time they're going to force uh, somebody out. Yep, throwing the Dow High attacker out. The battle behind the net. The Midland High Kimmich had it won briefly. That time it'll be deflected almost to the ceiling, but it comes back down. Yep, waiting for the whistle, but it didn't quite get there. That was cleared out, so the Chargers are going to have to get on side, and they could not do it. First offside call of the game. Yep, he tried to hold her in. High school hockey here on MPS TV, produced by MCTV Volunteers. You can. Check us out on at Charter, channels 188 to 191. Look us up on MCTV, also available on AT&T UVerse on channel 99. Also, this game will be available on the Midland Public Schools website, also available on YouTube in the next couple of weeks as well. High definition on YouTube. Midland High comes back the other way into the neutral ice. Work the Kimmicks. Gavin Moe skating it in, gave it to Tanner Squires, who was trailing. Now Moe working the puck behind the net. Moe trying to find somebody to pass it to, but can't do it. Kimmick tried to keep it in the zone. Instead, here comes the Chargers on a breakaway. Two on one advantage, and the pass was just out of the reach of the stick of Caden Critch. The freshman tried everything he could to get to it. Yeah, very nice two on one opportunity. Caught the uh, Midland High defenders on their heels a little bit. A strike. Oh, that, oh. That's not going to count. We had a whistle before the shot. A strike had passed that, it back behind him, but I think the net came off. That came off again. It's like the third time. Let's take a look. We won't be able to hear the whistle. A strike lost his balance, and it was A strike that actually went in that forced the net off before Miles Trump could take the shot. Yep, so we should be having the face off outside. A strike just lost that edge. So a good call by Andy Pavlich. 
stop the, the play and move the, the fuck outside. Yeah, the junior Trump had a chance to score and it was taken away from him. Yeah, his <laughs> eyes got real big right there. Here's another wide look open. from behind the net. Yeah, right there. Watch this. You got a wide open net with not even a goalie in your way. But it was your own guy that knocked that off. So take away the goal and the face off will go into the neutral zone. That's one of the benefits. You get the four officials. You get the two linesmen covering the lines and whatnot, and the officials are able to hold the goal lines and see what's happening. Joey Johnson dumping it in. Nice hard shot by one of the top defensemen in the state, but Kimmich were able to clear it out. Now Blazey's working the puck. Luke Blazey's going to skate it behind his own net, trying to set up the play for the Chargers. Dow High leads by a goal. About five minutes and change into the second period. Got to get that puck deep. You can't play with it at the blue line. Those are breakaways against waiting to happen. See how Dow High spreading the ice. They got their two wingers out here. Puck just missed Blazy just a little bit. Uh, Icing coming back. Rare miscue in that Johnson Blazy combination. That's a uh, that's a combination that's got a lot of goals and assists on the Dow High stat sheet. Well, absolutely. You got uh, a lot of confidence in Johnson with his being able to control the puck. And then, you know, Blazy reads that and just takes off. Spreads the ice. Another great scoring opportunity right there. Oh, Fishman had to, oh, do he had the to make a big save. And, yeah. But you see what I'm talking about? A second chance point right there. The puck was low, it was on net. We had a rebound opportunity. Fishman coming up big with the save. Had to make that first kick save, and then Fishman was all tangled up, and you know, a chance for the Kimmicks to take advantage of it, but as you mentioned, they're going to do it. See, that puck's got to get deep. You cannot let the, def the uh, forwards attack that because, look, he had a four-on-two coming against. Wagner did a nice job of keeping this stick on the puck as he was checked into the, uh, into the side, but unable to get anything to happen out of, out of it. Now, how about a centering shot for the Dow High Chargers? And I wonder, Mickey McMahon, the junior, kind of hesitated. McMahon had an open shot, decided not to go. I think he was looking to go down under, but he was open right in front of the Midland High net. Yeah, he was looking to pass when realistically he could have taken the shot, a low shot. You had guys there for the rebounds. Instead, they come away with no shot. Wrap around attempt. Booza getting over. Yeah, Booza made the save on Churchfield's shot. Couple of scoring chances. Now they're going to center it up again. Now they're going to go back out to the blue line. Shot taken by A strike, and we've got a penalty coming up. Uh, Booza might be going. Nope. Who's got somebody Good. going on the cross check? So we'll wait to find out who is headed to the box. It appears that it's going to be the Midland High Kimmich. They got Travis Grimaldi on the cross check. Well, Dow High with a lot of great pressure right there. So you're just trying to kind of clear the zone and make sure Booza can see what's happening. And unfortunately, Grimaldi got caught with a little cross check. First power play of the game for the Dow High Chargers. Midland took advantage of their power play earlier in the period. So let's see what the Dow High Chargers can do with a man advantage. Just under 10 minutes to go here in the second period. Chargers win the faceoff. A strike to Johnson. Goes back to A strike. A strike skates it in, takes a shot, and a glove save made by Booza. Yeah, A strike, you know, you got a good hard shot like that. Why not throw it on net? But Booza able to see it the whole way. Easy glove save. I mentioned how young Midland High is. They've got three goalies on their roster, two sophomores and a freshman. As we saw Booza's glove save. Now, Dow High working the puck. Johnson has it on the far side. Goes over to Blazy. Blazy takes a shot. Had a man in front, but deflected away. I'm not sure that ever got to Booza. Now found his way through to the corner. That shot goes off and against the board. Got a good rebound for a down. The Kimmicks will clear it out. Chargers had several opportunities early on in this power play coming up empty handed. A minute 15 left on the power play. Dow trying to work it in with Alec Newton, battling it around. There's a shot taken. Good save by Booza, rebound, controlled into the corner. Power play with the goalie earning their money. Johnson's shot goes into the breadbasket of Booza. Yeah, good uh, puck movement by the Chargers. 
Got the puck going around. Midland High kind of running around a little bit. Good scoring opportunities, but right there at the end, again, bread basket. Now you got a whistle. Dow High playing without Zach Sepke, Austin Soper, or Austin Yider. Those three players, all forwards for the Dow High Chargers, currently injured. There's a shot taken by Johnson, and the save made. Yep, a lot of traffic out front for the Chargers, so you throw it on net, see what can happen, see if you got a CNI dog to get through. Well, Cam Pat Patty was the one that was right in front. Awful yep. close trying to block Buzo's view of that shot by Johnson. Block the view, get a tip. That's different than your typical breadbasket shot because you have a, a, a presence out front. You have a chance for a tip. Johnson's shot never made it through, but a strike able to come away with it. Goes back to Johnson. Johnson's shot again. You had Patty right in front of Buza. A strike looking to reload again for the Chargers. This time they'll go down to the corner. Looks to center it up. Johnson's shot. Patty trying to rebound that backhand, but Buza able to stand tall. 15 seconds left in the power play. And Buza doing a great job of taking away the second chance opportunities. He's seeing a lot of pressure right now. Last oh. chance for the Chargers to score. Golden chance, but Buza had a great save. Puck is still loose. No shot. Second rebound goes in. Great Charger read out goal. of a strike. Great read. Everybody focused on the puck. Buza, first of all, he kept that thing alive for the longest possible time. He saw that cross pass, made the save, but actually on the third and fourth opportunity, pretty sure a strike just read it and jumped. Four seconds left in the power play. The Chargers strike. Let's take a look, Zephy. Yeah, Booza coming across with a great save. Just can't keep it corralled. Nice opportunity to do the wrap. But see how A-Strike just keeps crashing the net. Good things happen when the rebounds are floating around. Another look at it. Couple Witt, of yeah, Witt did a nice job of clearing. Just didn't clear it hard enough. A-Strike rather ever can steal it and put it home into the empty net. For the Dow High Chargers, back to a two-goal lead as they lead now three to one. This time, Fishman will come up with the save. Yeah, Midland High doing a good job of rebounding themselves emotionally, getting a good scoring opportunity back down on Fishman. Alec Newton is going to get credit for the assist. He did a great job of feeding that to Shane A. Strike, who picks up his second goal of the game for the Dow High Chargers. And again, Luke Bufa did everything he could, but he couldn't cover it up, and that allowed Dow High to pick up that power play goal. Yep, just a numbers game. Oh, we got something. Yeah, we got a penalty coming here. Johnson's going to go. What do they got him for? As Dow High trying to crash in, trying to take away the Midland scoring chance, and Johnson's going to end up in the penalty box. Oh, did they did they call a check from behind? I'm not sure if they called a check from behind. Let's, but let's take a look at this. They may have got Johnson for a check from behind. So he comes in a little late. That's exactly what they did right there. Yep. A little late, got him from behind, a little off to the side, but from behind. Nail Tyler Pritchard. So that's a five-minute major penalty on Joey Johnson. That will hurt the Dow High Chargers, one of their best players in the penalty box. And he may have got more than five. That may be a... Did he just get a five minute or is that uh, a little bit more added on to that? Well, it might come with an automatic 10 or a game. We'll see. We'll, we'll wait to see if we can find out exactly what that call is, but I think he got at least five minutes. He may have got more for that check from behind. Chemex will be on a long power play, but the Chargers are able to clear it out. Here's the call. No, oh, just, just the five. Just gave the five, so nothing added to it. Just a five-minute penalty for that, that check, and we'll see if Midland can take advantage. They scored once on a power play, did the Kimmix. 6.45 to go here in the second period. Chargers leading by two goals in the first of two regular season meetings between the Kimmix and the Chargers here on MPS TV. Yeah, Blazy doing a good job of keeping the four-check four alive. Kemmick's having trouble getting it out. Tyler but. Pritchett skated right in. That time, the Kemmick's had a chance for a rebound, but they couldn't take advantage of it. Matt Witt was in front of the net, and the first shot went off the high chest of Fishman, and Witt was there but couldn't put it back in. 
Well, Midland High needs to really settle down and try to stay in their attacking zone, work the puck around. You got plenty of time. You can score as many as you want during this power play. There's a total of six seniors amongst both teams playing in the contest tonight. Everybody else underclassmen, 20 players, 10 from each team playing in their very first Dow Midland matchup. Midland High's on a power play. They've still got three and a half minutes left in the power play, but they've only been able to get a couple of shots. They're battling in the corner right now. The puck's still moving, so the officials are not going to blow that dead, and Midland High able to come away with it, but the Chargers will clear it out. And it got out of the zone, so the Kimmicks will have to get across the blue line. That's an advantage for the Chargers. On your, when you're on a five-minute power play, Mike, you don't have to necessarily hurry and get off as many shots as you possibly can quickly, but you want to keep that puck down of the zone and just, you know, shot after shot, not to have to chase the puck back and forth. Well, exactly, because with the five-minute major, the uh, you get as many goals as you can. So you do want to make sure you try to get two or three during that five-minute. So you, you are going to slow things down a little bit and have a better quality scoring opportunities, but on the same time. Plays like that, that keep getting that puck cleared down. You've got to go all the way down. And now the Chargers looking to take advantage shorthand. Unable to do so, but the Chargers controlling that puck and the time keeps ticking away on that power play. Yeah, Midland High needs to play with a little more you know, jump in their step here. They always say slow down because you're on the power play, but realistically, you got to be moving. Two minutes to go in the power play, four and a half minutes to go in the second period. Cleared out again, and the Kimmicks will go for a line change. And the Chargers able to send it down, forcing Midland High to set up their offense. Tyler Pritchett will work it for Midland. Forwards it over to Cam Gardner, but Gardner can't even get into the zone before Dow High able to deflect it away. Blazy's got to be happy with what the Chargers are doing, killing this five-minute power play. Yeah, Midland cannot get through the uh, center ice zone with any pace. Passes are a little sloppy, a little behind. Only one scoring chance during this entire power play for Midland. We'll see what they can do here. Trying to send it down, backhand shot, but Fishman able to make the save without a problem. Had a couple of chemicals in the same place. Now we've got a penalty coming up, and that's going to get rid of the power play. Yeah, it looks like uh, Witt's going to the penalty box. That would be Matthew Witt. The freshman will head into the box. So an unsuccessful power play for the Midland High Chemics. And now we'll skate four on four for the next minute 15 if the slashing call is what will send Witt into the penalty box. Yeah, definitely when you're in your attacking zone, you do not want to get a penalty, especially when you are on the power play. So we skate four on four. The Chemics unsuccessful with their power play. Midland High skates across. Ice Tanner Sawyer trying to get it into the zone. He will hit up against the boards. And do we have a penalty? We do. They're going to call interference. So Midland will be back on the power play. Wow. Did we uh, jinxed them first period, what did we say? Mason Reed will head to the penalty box for the Dow High Chargers. Reed is a sophomore called for interference, so now it will be four on three with Midland High on a power play for the next minute and one second. Light that scoreboard up. Brings back memories for me, Vesey. <laughs> yeah, we've had some... From festive games, have we not? There's a nice shot by A Strike. -strike nice, yep. nice check there, and that will free up A Strike with the puck. So A Strike skating across for the Dow High Chargers, but had no place to go. So he's going to send it on now, try to burn more time off the clock, but may have turned it over in his own zone. Pritchett trying to take advantage of it, kept in nicely, or briefly, but now the Chargers have a breakaway. Lucas Churchfield working down, but can't get a shot. Nice defense being played by Nathan Witt for the Kimmicks. Midland will come back the other direction. 20 seconds left in the power play. Pritchett takes his shot. 
deflected away by Patty. Goes nowhere near Fishman in the net. Less players out there, a lot of open ice. Makes a little more excitement to go up and down. And on the Olympic rink, there's a, a lot more space than uh, your regulation a NHL rink. The power play is now done. We're going to skate four on four for the next 45 seconds. Midland Hives, Nathan Witt, unable to get a shot off. Trying to go back around. Dow High will clear it out. Had a blazy ahead on the breakaway, but too far ahead. And icing's going to be called. Nice job by Bootha of evaluating the situation. Knew that they were going to get the icing before Blazy could get to the puck. Yep, either an icing or a shot on goal, which many would have had to make the save. 30 seconds left in the four on four. And then there will be a 15 second power play. Two minutes to go, just over two. Two on one opportunity, in the second third period. man jumping in, Johnson. Luke Blasey takes the shot, and it deflects oh. in. Bootha initially had the save, but then it goes into the net, and Blaze, the goal will go in for the Dow High Chargers. Well, it started out a two on one. Johnson jumping up in the play to make it a three on one. So Blasey taking the shot, realizes that Booz is probably leaning just a little bit, thinking that puck's going across. But uh, nice shot. Let's see if we can get second, another look at it. Second goal of the game for Blasey. Well, maybe he didn't get much of it. I thought maybe Bootha had deflected that, but I don't think he did. There we go. Good we'll tell right from here. this angle. No, he didn't. Yep, right yeah. off the pad and in. Yeah. Just a nice shot, about a foot off the ice. Blasey's very, had a, very hard save to make. Blasey's had a couple of great shots in this game. He is very talented. He's got two goals, and Dow High's got a four to one lead here in the second period. It's a power play for 10 seconds. Shot taken. Oh, Blasey's going to try to skate it in. Can't do it. Busa comes up with the save, and now we're all even strength. Everybody out of the penalty box. Midland High taking a shot. The shot from, Eth uh, from Travis Grimaldi goes high. Yeah, Midland High with the three on two when they're coming out of the zone. But the play, they just didn't they just didn't go through that center neutral zone with pace. Ended up having a back checker catch them, so put it in the three on three opportunity with just an errant shot wide. 121 to go here in the second period. Dow High four, Midland High one. Chargers scored twice in the first period. They've scored twice here in the second. Pinwire out front, wide open, just put the puck a little behind him. They had a great centering pass. Could not come up with it. Now Tyler Pritchard can't get that puck through. Minute to go here in the second period. The battle goes behind that briefly. Now the Kimmich working back in the corner, trying to skate it out. Midland High will keep it in. Unable to get a shot yet as Midland High battles. Chargers defense doing everything they can to get that puck out, and it nearly came out. And then it was kept in by the Midland High defenseman. But still, for about the, the last 45 seconds, Bessie, the puck's been in the zone, but Midland's been unable to get a shot, and now the Chargers will clear it out. Yeah, at least they're getting some uh, attacking zone presence. Just got to start working on shots and rebounds. Deflected off the stick and goes behind the net. Midland High, can they capitalize in the final seconds of the period? It does not appear they will. And the second period comes to an end. Yeah, I think Dow High thought there was a few less seconds on the clock than there was there. Midland High could have come away with the quality scoring opportunity. But instead, not a shot on goal there in the end. So the Dow High Chargers will have a three goal lead as they head into the locker room, four to one, and the Lee strike just asking a little, uh, little explanation on his penalty. I don't think you're going to convince a strike that was a good call, no matter what the official <laughs> happens to no, say. And if if you see the the replay, I think he's going to know that the Midland player did did a tag. Now the difference is, is he's such a big guy, head contact comes into play. But I always hate it when a guy gets a penalty just because he's tall. Up, up big guys. Nothing yeah. ever goes our way. Yep. 
<laughs> four to one in favor of the Dow High Chargers. A lot of action in that second period as the Midland High Chemics got on board with a power play score, but then the Dow High Chargers able to come back and score a couple of unanswered, a power play by A strike, and then Luke Blaze, you've just got a beautiful shot for that has worked to his advantage time and time again and the Chargers will take a three goal lead into the locker room as uh, well Dick Blasey's uh, trying to argue his point the Zamboni driver wants to do his job but Dick Blasey's trying to get his point across to the officials so uh, and I, again I don't think Blasey's going to, to uh, like that explanation as well but he's uh, I don't know that he's going to win that argument, but very interesting that the officials are uh, staying here and talking instead of just uh, ending the conversation and going into the locker room. Yeah, I guess as long as it stays civil, they're going to admit early on in the season, make sure everybody's opinion is heard. But like you say, sooner or later, the point's going to be made, the call's been made. Yeah, Time well, to move on. Well, I wonder if that's what Blasey is arguing. Is he arguing the A strike penalty, or if there's something else that uh, that Blasey is unhappy about? But he definitely, uh, well, there's, there's some laughing, so maybe it's not all bad. But some conversation. We'll talk about that when we come back. That'll be the. You've been on both sides of that conversation, so we'll talk about that when we come back. The Dow High Chargers leading the Midland High Chemics four to one. You're watching high school hockey on MPS TV. The ice has been cleared as we welcome you back to the Midland Civic Arena, getting ready for the third period of action between the Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers. Dow High with a 4-1 to one lead over Midland High after two periods. Jason Harper and Mike Vesna with you here at the Midland Civic Arena. And Mike, a very interesting second period of action. Actually, a lot of action in the second period. And the great staff and volunteers at MCTV have put together a little highlight package of the action Back in the second period. Yeah, you'll notice a lot more hitting, a lot more shooting, a lot more goal scoring, a lot of action. You know, you just watch the highlight video here. It's just pretty much self-explanatory. The shots on goal, the second chance points. You yeah, know, the, the backhand by Tanner Squires there, the lone Midland High goal, but it was a nice one. Yeah, I mean, right on the power play got her. Here's a good opportunity with uh, a strike taking booze out a little bit, but that moving. A couple of power play goals, one for each team. Now, right there would have been a huge goal. You know, get this thing a little closer going into the third, but Fishman making the big save. Nice little wraparound attempt, but uh, bad clear by Midland High. A strike using his size and speed again, stepping up and putting it home. Referee right there, can't dispute the goal. But that's another good scoring opportunity. There's the big hit on Johnson that uh, Coach Blazing was talking a little bit. Why did he get the five? I'm sure that's, that's what they were asking. Interference in the corner. But look at that shot, you know, about a foot and a half off the ice. You can't make the pad save, you can't make the blocker save. It's just a, a, a nice place to put the puck. Blazing shooting well today. Yeah, Luke Blazing's had a couple of nice looking goals for the Dow High Chargers. We're at four to one on the scoreboard in favor of Dow High. Shane A strike with two goals. Luke Blasey with two goals. Tanner Squires has the lone goal for Midland. If you take a look at the student section 
for Dow High, enjoying some high school hockey here on MCTV. But, Vesey, I want to go back to uh, what we saw at the end of that second period in the conversation that uh, Dick Blasey was having with the officiating crew. And you've been on both sides of that situation. You know, you've been a, a coach for 30-plus years, but earlier than that, you were an official at one time as well. So you've seen both sides of that conversation, more as a coach than an official, but talk to us about, about that conversation. Well, the first thing you want is you want your officials to be able to communicate with the coaches and the captains, and that's where the uh, the two officials did a good job of talking that. You know, Blazy probably thought he was getting a little slighted that period. Midland High on the power play a lot more. Even when uh, Midland High went in the penalty box, they offset it with another Dow High penalty. So I think he was trying to get his point across, saying that, hey, I the way Blazy saw it, it was a clean hit by a strike. The puck was there. He got him. You can't penalize my guy because he's big, even though, you know, the headshots are a factor. Johnson coming in, he probably saw it, got it from the side. So Blaze is just trying to say, hey, I know why you called what you called, but this is what I saw. You know, don't forget, there are the two teams out there. It's uh, the, uh, the old infamous, there are two teams out there. Make sure you're keeping an eye out for both. Uh, and the officials and the coaches are going to see each other several times during the course of a season, and that is something that, you know, there, there's not a, you know, there's not a huge officiating pool. There's not a huge coaching pool. So officials and coaches know each other. Oh, and absolutely. And they know their tendencies. They know what they're going to call. You got some refs that they're going to call the letter of the law, and they're going to call it tight. So you tell your players, hey, you know, you, you come around with a little hack and whack in the shins, you're going to go to the box. So you know the ones that are going to call her tight. Pavlich, one of those guys that is calling it tight. He's been calling a lot tonight. His partner. I have not uh, experienced him a lot, but he looks to be one that's more going to let him play as long as it looks even. So really, once you learn these guys, you, you learn how to adjust your players to it accordingly. It doesn't always work as planned because emotions do take, uh, you know, take a factor at times. And, and we saw the conversation. That's the other thing that is very important to have, the, the conversation. It was not a... Uh, you know, it was not a conversation where they're, you know, screaming and yelling anything that had to be done. It was a conversation of, of wanting the explanation. Well, we were 20 plus feet away and we couldn't hear a word that was going on. That's key. If everybody in the stands knows what the conversation is, referees are going to take slight to that because you're trying to show them up. The other thing, there was not a lot of hand gestures, not a lot of pointing, and they walked away smiling. We're always smiling because we've got a great hockey game, four to one in favor of the Dow High Chargers as we get ready for the final 17 minutes of this contest. Our first broadcast of the winter season. We've got basketball coming up in a couple of weeks near Christmas time, and then January rolls around and we take to the mat with some high school wrestling and, of course, more basketball and more hockey coming your way here on MPS TV. So here we go in the third period. Chargers with a three-goal lead. Kimmick's looking to play from behind. This is the home game, but of course, both Midland and Dow call the Civic Arena home. And besides who, you know, pays for the ice, it's not really much of a, a difference on uh, who's the home team. No, because they both even have their own benches that they sit on on a regular basis. Shot taken from the blue line by Tyler Pritchett. Now, Pritchett has a lot of speed, and I'm kind of curious as to, uh, yeah, I haven't seen a lot of that speed. Do we have too many men on the ice? I think we, uh, I think we may have had too many men on the ice. Yep, he's pointing to the box for somebody. Yeah, see what I'd like to see, I mean, you know, Pritchett, he's going one on three right there, but what he needs to do, he needs to realize that, okay, you, you threw it in, bread basket shot, you got the turnover, but you said he does have that speed. Take off, drive the lane, try to blow by somebody. Who knows what happens? They might bring you down, they might trip you, you might get to go on the power play. Well, it looked like it worked though, because they did go in the power play, but he's got he's to use his speed and, and try to beat these guys. So apparently it's going to be the Dow High Chargers that uh, tried to, you know, you've got a three goal lead, you don't need an extra skater. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing a uh, miscommunication uh, from the bench. Somebody jumped on the ice and nobody went off. So the Dow High Chargers will be penalized for uh, too many men on the ice. So Midland High will go on a power play. You know, and that also happens early in the season because the lines aren't completely set yet. Probably a change made in between periods. And 
One guy got it, one guy did not. And the Chargers had to shuffle their lines because they've got three players out. That shot went wild into the uh, the Dow High bench. Dick Blasey and John Hollingsworth uh, had to duck for cover. Yep. And then Johnson had to skate to the bench after he just shot the puck right at him. Yeah, Johnson's got a hard shot. Yeah. There's some Charger fans having some fun here at the Civic Arena. Chargers yep. will clear that all the way down. Buzo will have to make the save on the far side. The importance of an attacking zone faceoff. Midland one of three on the power play. One was a very short power play, but nonetheless one for three as Travis Grimaldi had the uh, puck taken away by one of the Dow defensemen. Looking to clear it up. Midland Highs, Tanner Squires. He's got the only goal for the Kimmich. There's a centering and a trying to battle in that corner. I think that was Matt Witt. Trying to do too much by himself right now. Squires will look for the shot and a strike with the save. <laughs> Whatever works. Grimaldi, his shot doesn't get to net. Deflected away and cleared out by Nolan Sanders. So a couple of shots, but not really a good scoring opportunity for Midland. No, that last uh, attempted shot, at least he had some screening going on out front. Kept the puck low, just didn't get through. 30 seconds to go in the power play. And the whistle will stop the action with 14.47 on the clock. Dow high four, Midland high one. Well, you know, you got uh, just under 15 minutes to go. You got to make up three goals. Midland high, you're on the power play. You're going to have to start taking some chances. Use your speed. Try to blow by them. See if they can't hook you or grab you. Stay on the power play. Dow high, just got to play smart. Keep the puck out of your defensive zone. Midland high will skate it in, looking for the last power play opportunity. And... The shot by Tyler Pritchett doesn't go anywhere near the Dow High goalie Fishman, who has done a terrific job. Mark Fishman has only let one goal slide in. And you know, the Chargers aren't necessarily strong in that goalie department, but they're getting stronger with a performance like we've seen from Fishman tonight. Yeah, you know, you get the young tenders. You got to find out who's going to step up to the challenge, who's going to improve as the season progresses, who wants to take that number one spot. Power play is done, so we're back to even strength as Pritchett trying to go somewhere, but he goes nowhere thanks to the Dow High defenseman. The check into the board, so now the Chargers will come back into neutral ice. On the other side, Luke Busa's done a nice job in that as well. Three goalies for Midland, all either freshman or sophomore. Busa's coming off a uh, scoreless tie up in Gaylord that was a terrific contest. Midland High coming up with the steal. Checked into the board by Caden Kritz. Chargers will try to clear it out the other direction. Find it very interesting that right in front of that Midland High bench, the, uh, the Chemex had a chance. Caden Nielsen could have went for the check. Instead, he tried to play that puck and uh, ended up going into the stands. Yeah, you know, Kate trying to make something happen. Quick turnover at the blue line. See what can happen, but instead goes out of play. Kimmick's in their own zone. Will clear it out and a neutral life, but unable to handle it. The Dow High Chargers will have it on the far end. Saddlemeyer will That's still clear gonna be a back. nice. He was on the uh, wrong side of the red. Trying to just get it deep for a change. Unlike college, though, they still can complete the change after the whistle. It just comes into their defensive zone. Two goals by Shane A. Strike, two goals by Luke Blasey. Dow high four, Midland high one. Still a lot of time left to be played in this game, and this is only the fourth game of the year for both of these teams, and that's something that we have to remember that when these two teams meet again in February, it'll be like watching two brand new teams. Oh yeah, they'll they'll all have bought into their systems. They'll be knowing what's going on, or they won't be playing. I mean, by then, you either do what you're supposed to be doing. 
Shane a strike not only does he score goals he's the, probably the most physical player out on the ice Midland High with a scoring chance coming bang, bang up play. empty handed yeah you got wit with the first opportunity big save by Fishman haven't talked a lot about how many times he had to make big saves but right there he did to keep it a two goal game or three goal game Churchfield trying to center it up but knocked away by Nielsen Chargers looking to come away with it now the puck skates free to the right hand side kept in play shot by Mason Reed goes wide Joey Johnson far side his shot broken up by the Kimmick defenseman and coming back the other way Kate Nielsen will drop it in so the Kimmick can go into a line change Will the Chargers take advantage trying to use their speed Johnson looking to go coast to coast Johnson's shot kick save made by Busa kept in play Reed shot another kick save puck is still free Blasey rebound no good blocked away net comes off Wow Johnson using the speed right through the neutral zone great shot I mean good hard shot low pad Booz having to make the save such a hard shot it went all the way out to the point but now high great scoring opportunity uh, Chargers definitely had that there's the initial save Blasey tried to come with the rebound as did Patty well, you look at that you got you got three Dow Chargers right down low with one Kemick defenseman Kemick's yes. got to get down there and help booze out a little bit and uh, Nathan Witt was the one that may have stopped that puck coming uh, into the net the second time around they been playing a little lazy there almost burn him in the end but Pat nice little go. tip by Blazy. Yeah, that was nice. Goes for the Dow High Chargers on the right hand side. Couldn't get a shot there. There was a kind of whip around shot that Buso was forced to make the save of. Caden Kritz working the puck on the far side. He'll be driven into the boards. Chargers come away with the puck in a numbers advantage. Looking for Johnson. Johnson will take it behind net. Lost it briefly. Johnson still has it. Johnson doing everything he can. Midland unable to clear it. Shot taken from Caden Kritz on the blue line goes wide. Midland unable to clear. Now they do. But going right back the other way, Shane A-Strike takes advantage of a Midland line change. A-Strike shot saved by Busa. Yeah, bad change by Midland right there. They thought they were getting the puck deep. A-Strike intercepts it right around the blue line. Uses his side and speed with pace through the central zone. See right there, he's dipsy doing. He's got to drive that lane. But see what he can do. Well, they briefly had a two on one, but again, they didn't take advantage of it. Trying to work it on. I believe that was Brady Penwar down there. Now comes back the other direction, and icing will be called. A lot of people thought that might have been waved off, but 9.49 to go here in the third period. Dow High leading by three. A reminder, this game being produced by MCTV staff and volunteers. If you would like to become an MCTV volunteer, there's a great shot of both of the uh, goalies in their respective nets. If you would like to become an MCTV volunteer, all you have to do is call 837-3474. You can also go on the City of Midland website. Also, you can find us on Facebook. Long shot on goal that will be covered up by Busa. There's the information, 837-3474. City of Midland or on Facebook will be your friend. Become a volunteer, work on shows. You can even do your own podcast if you want to. Wow, a podcast? Yeah, if video's not your thing, we'll, we'll set you up for the podcast. Dow High getting thrown out of the face-off dot. There's a face-off one by the Chargers, but Johnson unable to keep the puck in play. Knocked away briefly by Midland. Under 10 minutes to go, you're down by three if you're the Midland High Kimmix. Do you start gambling? And there's a shot taken on a whip around. Another shot, a couple of saves by Bufa. Midland will come back the other direction as Travis Grimaldi goes across the blue line for a Midland. And we've got a penalty coming as Ryan Stadelmeyer is going to be called for the hold. 
Yep, didn't know if you're going to go the hold route or the trip route. But that's what happens when you try to drive the lane with speed. They're going to grab you, they're going to hold you, they're going to try to keep you from burning around them. So that's exactly what we talked about earlier. Instead of having a turnover at the blue line, drive it, see if you can't draw a penalty. If you don't draw a penalty, you might get a step on them, get a quality scoring opportunity. So Stadelmeyer goes into the penalty box. One of the things that Blaze was concerned about coming into this game was the number of penalties. He likes the aggressive and the physical play, but doesn't like the penalties. And we'll see if Midland can take advantage of a power play. The Kimmicks do have one power play goal in the game. But Vesey, the question as uh, the, the clock continues to tick away is at what point, if you're Midland High, do you start gambling a little, maybe risk giving up a goal, because whether you lose by three or four or five doesn't make a difference. So at what point do you start gambling a little bit offensively? Well, you got you to start gambling now, but Dow High is doing a really good job of controlling the puck. You know, they're moving the puck D to D, up and down. They're keeping the puck deep. So as long as Dow High keeps the pressure on, it's making it difficult for Midland High to try to take them gambles. But yeah, down three, you got you to kick it into gear right here. We'll see what the gimmicks do. As Tyler Pritchett goes across the blue line, Pritchett will dump it down into the Dow High zone. A yeah, minute left sweet. in the power play, and the Kimmicks unable to get a shot thus far on the power play. Yeah, he had an open lane to go, and he dumped the puck in, gave the puck right to Dow High. You got the puck. If you work hard to get it, try to keep it. On the far side, and that ends up going into the Dow High bench. That's not exactly what uh, Connor Dunlap wanted to do. No, but uh, you know, you're definitely seeing some of the young guys right now. Not exactly sure how to attack the zone as much as you want. And that's important to remember the fact that it's, you know, early in the season, this is only the fourth game for each of these teams. You've got young players and it's early in the season. It's like Coach Witt's trying to call a timeout. You're not exactly, you know, uh, yeah. in final exam mode right now. You're, you're still working on the syllabus. Well, exactly, and you need to know which lines can play with what lines, and who are your go-to guys? Who are the guys that are going to step up, face adversity? So, I mean, it is learning curve for both coaches. But, you know, you talked about when do you gamble, when do you start taking the chances? Well, right now, you got a 49-second power play. If you can score in this power play, get it back to a two-goal game with uh, seven to go, you're right back in it. High school hockey, you get one timeout per game. So Steve Witt who is celebrating a birthday today, taking uh, advantage of that timeout. On the opposite end, the Dow High Chargers feeling pretty good right now. You're up by three, you're playing pretty good hockey if you're the Dow High Chargers. You're, you know, you've got that, that combination of, uh, you know, Joey Johnson and Shane Aistrike and Luke Blasey. Those, those are your big guns. You're getting great goalie play out of Fishman tonight. So the Dow High Chargers right now have got the advantage. Well, yeah, not only are they leading the game, you know, four to one, if you're, uh, if you're counting hits, they're, they're winning the game in hits right now. Um, time of possession in the attacking zone, quality scoring opportunities. So you're, you know, you're checking off a lot of boxes right here. But, you know, Midland High is very young, and they're learning the new way to go. For the you record, know. trivia contest, Steve Witt, Dick Blasey Jr., Jason Harper. We have one thing in common. Which is? The love of 80s hair metal. <laughs> There you go. I've had conversations with both about uh, the hits of the 80s. See, no zone presence there again. Good clear by Dick the Chargers. 740 to go in the contest. Three goal lead for the Chargers. 30 seconds left in the Midland High power play, but they have been unable to get anything against the defense of the Dow High Chargers. Even coming off the timeout, nothing uh, working the way that Steve Witt drew it up. Well, not only did you rest your big guys to put them back out there, Dow High got to rest their big guys. There's a steal and a shot taken. That was Alec Newton had a scoring chance for the Chargers, but Busa able to make the save. The power play is done. Teams at full strength, seven minutes, just over seven to go. Tyler Pritchett. Taking the puck for Midland. Chargers coming up. Joey Johnson with a steal. Johnson's got a one-on-one, -on -one, but it's going to be knocked away. Johnson still able to get a shot from the far side. Now the battle behind the net. 
who will come away with it. It's kept into play by the Chargers from the far side. Mason Reed's shot will be deflected in a stoppage of play. Yeah, Midland having trouble getting out of their zone right now. Dow High doing a good job of just taking advantage of every miscue, keeping the puck deep in the attacking zone. You want to talk about veteran officials, the individual on your screen a few moments ago, Mike Myers, he's been officiating for uh, quite some time. Does a great job, not only as an official, calling what needs to be called, but also does a great job mentoring new officials. Yeah, and we, knew need, we do need officials, so anybody that wants to earn some good money, you know, right through high school and into college, get out there and get some officiating experience. We need some good young officials coming through the system right now. Well, there's, there's so many games to cover. You know, you talk about the, the amateur hockey league, and, you know, obviously you're not going to become an official and start working a high school game or, you know, a, a college game. You're, you're going to start off doing the younger kids, but you start, you learn, you work your way up, and, you know, there's definitely a need for officials. Absolutely. Love to have you. Dow High, Luke Blasey will keep that puck alive. <laughs> kind of kicks it away, and a shot taken there. Great save by Booza again, keeping this thing reachable. As the game progresses, I think Dow High's picking up the pace a little bit. The Kimmicks early in the season may be battling a little stamina issue at this point as well, and Booza's going to have to dive forward to try to cover it up. Couldn't do it. Well, Midland High right now, you know, they're trying to get a couple goals so you get your better players. They're starting to wind down a little bit. Cam Patty looking to center it up. We got a penalty coming. The Midland High Kimmicks will go to the penalty box as I believe Pritchett may be called with interference. Well, one of your top players on the uh, ice for Midland High is now going to be in the penalty box. A interference time you never want to take a penalty but if you're midland you really didn't want to take a penalty there well no <clears throat> excuse me you need three goals and now you're killing and now they uh, do we have another i believe dick blazy is going to take a time out <clears throat> i promise See, I'm we're not, back there i'm, I'm not choking vezzi <laughs> so no, they, hell richard is <laughs> that, that must be what <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? We've got a timeout taken by the Chargers with 5.21 to go. There's a look at Midland High. Steve Witt, the head coach, and his assistant coaches, Nick Mammel, a former player, and Chad Summerson, who uh, played, I believe, at Bowling Green. So a lot of, uh, you know, veteran play by the coaching staff. Steve Witt also had, you know, a, a pretty good uh, hockey career as well. Dick Blasey, of course, played for the Dow High Chargers as a player. Now, Blasey back as a uh, as a coach. So, yeah, I mean, there's definitely a lot of mentors going on right now, and it, it, you know, you get a four-one game, five to go, and there's still a lot to learn. You know, Dow High taking the timeout up four to one, but talk about how do you want to work this power play? It is young. You are learning it. You're learning new systems. Take advantage of the opportunities presented. You know, it's got to be uh, kind of a thrill for Dick Blasey. And this past fall, I had a conversation with him of, you know, Dick Blasey Jr. played for his father when Dick Blasey Sr. was the hockey coach. And now Luke Blasey is playing for his dad as the hockey coach. So it's kind of, in, you know, kind of interesting. Uh, you know, Blasey was a little sentimental talking about the memories that he had. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's everybody's dream to be able to do what they've been able to do. Joey Johnson loses the handle on that attempted shot. But Dow High still able to keep it into the zone. Chargers on the power play. This is only the second, maybe the third power play of the game for Dow High. They do have one power play goal. Chargers working that puck down in the end. Able to get it out and skate it around the boards. Now we're going to have the same tie up in the opposite corner. Chargers will come away with the uh, the loose puck. Alec Newton was able to work it out of the board. Newton had it briefly for the Chargers. Again, they battle back into the boards. 
Nielsen just doing what he can to just keep the play down low. Now Johnson has it and trying to center it off over to the far side. Was looking for Shane A strike, but will be cleared out by the Midland High gimmicks. All the way down for Singh. Yeah, but Johnson could have come with a head of speed. Looking to center it up, cleared away by the by the Midland High gimmick. Let's go, boys. Come on now. Settle it down. 35 seconds left in the Charger power play. Dow High leading by three goals. Luke Blasey has got the puck circling around behind the net. Blasey still has control. Looking to dump it in, maybe looking for uh, Mickey McMahon. Clear it out, Blazy shot, goal! Oh, put her right in the night, up or not. Hat trick for there. Blazy. Yep, nice cross, that back door. Midland High just, it just kept going around and around. Midland High finally got trapped over on one half the ice. Blazy jumps in. Back door beats him clean high. No chance for booze on that one. Second power play goal of the game for Luke Blasey and watch how fast he gets rid of this puck too. Right in the upper corner. Nice little snapshot. And I believe a strike with the assist. Blasey puts it right into the back of the net and it stays right there. Hat trick for Luke Blasey. And the Dow High Chargers leading five to one with just over three minutes to go here in the third period. Working behind the net, there's that combination. Blazy, A strike, Johnson. They work well. And Luke Blazy's got such a nice shot. We talked about it at the start of this period. Three goals from Blazy, all pretty. Nothing, uh, you know, shorthanded or cheap about those goals. Those are, are pretty shots that Blazy puts into the back of the net. Yeah, I mean. A steal there by the Chargers and a shot taken. Nolan Sanders had a scoring chance. I mean, he even had the one right off the post, so every one of them just right outside the reach. Dow High in neutral life will whip it back down to the zone, ended up going off the ceiling, so that will stop play. 2.22 here in the third period. Well, now if you're both coaches, at five to one, you've realistically already decided who's gonna get the W tonight. So now you wanna just make sure that nothing silly happens and that you play the next two minutes of this game strong, that you, you end on a positive note. Yeah, I mean, play hard to the end, but make sure you don't want anybody getting hurt here. Battle going on against the boards. Midland High keeping it into the zone, but only briefly. And now we'll see the Dow High Chargers looking to come back in the, the other way. Cam Gardner working the puck, backhanded in by Tanner Squires. He's got the only Midland High goal in the game. Now the other direction, Mickey McMahon working the puck for Dow High. McMahon with a shot, saved by Boozer, rebound, Charger goal. Yeah, Cutter down lap, you know, trying to stay with this guy. Didn't quite, but that's what we talked about. You know, you threw the puck on net right there, but it wasn't a breadbasket shot. Booza was forced to make a pad save. We'll see who got the goal. I think it may have been Churchfield. Lucas Churchfield, the junior. We'll see if he was the one that came up with it. McMahon skating it in. He had the pass. Yep, Churchfield does a nice job of getting right through. There's the rebound. Well, Lucas Churchfield backhanding it in for the Dow High Chargers. 90 seconds to go. Lucas Churchfield adds his name to the score column for the Dow High Chargers, who now lead six to one in this contest. Great to see, uh, you know, uh, Churchfield the junior, so he's not exactly young on this Dow High Charger team, but oh, it's good to see a couple of uh, different names on that score sheet. Absolutely, you know, that's just going to add to the depth of Dow High as the season progresses. You can't always rely on the same guys. You need different people to step up at different times. Just over a minute to go. 
here in the third period. Dow High leading this game by five goals, looking to pick up their third win of the season are the Chargers. Shot taken from the blue line by Mason Reed. Now it's a shot taken from the blue line by Joey Johnson. Neither shot able to get through. They played a little bit of don't stop believing and the crowd can keep singing the song well after <laughs> uh, after the music has stopped. There is hope for today's youth. They know the words to journey. So all, all is good in life, Bessie. All is good. 30 seconds to go in the contest. A Detroit Red Wing favorite song right there, too. Dow High in the neutral life. They don't need to add anything more to their uh, total here tonight. I think both teams more or less just waiting for the uh, time to tick off the clock. The score may not be uh, evident of just the fact that we had a pretty good hockey game here tonight at the Midland Civic Arena. The Dow High Chargers can now officially celebrate the victory as they come away with a 6-1 to one win over Midland High. Always good to get a victory over your crosstown rival, and the Dow High Chargers are the ones that will get to do the celebration here tonight. Yeah, without a doubt, Dow High just kind of, for lack of a better word to say, it wore Midland High out a little bit. First period, definitely up and down the ice, even even though Dow High was up. But as this game progresses, the, the size of Dow High just slowly but surely started taking over the game. And I, and I think Dick Blasey is going to have to be uh, pretty pleased with what he has seen here tonight from the Dow High Chargers. We're going to take a quick timeout, come back, take a look at some highlights of tonight's game and wrap things up. The Dow High Chargers celebrating the win. Chargers 6, Midland 1. The post game is coming up next here on MPS TV. We are back here at the Midland Civic Arena. Jason Harper and Mike Vesna, where the Dow High Chargers are celebrating a victory over the Chemex. Six to one, the final here tonight. The Chargers playing their brand of hockey early in the season. Mike, and let's take a look at some highlights from tonight's contest. Yep, you had the fans into it early. Always works, always helps. I mean, Booza was the, uh, he was a difference maker early on. He kept in the high with a chance to win, making some big saves. That one I know he wishes he had back. Just snuck under his pad, but that gave Dow High that little edge, that little momentum. But then the Blazy Show took over a little bit. I mean, his shooting and his, his shot selection just really was absolutely on par tonight. You know, some games you're just uh, an inch or two outside. Well, he was right on. A lot of good shots. The lone Midland goal, Tanner Squire is able to backhand it in. Yeah, I mean, that's still a really pretty goal. I mean, even though all the entire Dow players overplayed it to the one side, backdoor snuck in, got the goal, put this thing back to a game at the time. But from that point on, it was all Dow high. Yep, Booza unable to keep the puck frozen right there. The puck cycles around. A strike with a great jump. You know, jumps in, puts it in the empty net. Not a thing Booza could have done on that one. Two goals in the game for Shane A strike, including that one. But that another just a you know we're talking about the blazy shot just look at that just inside the post above the pad below the blocker not a lot of many goalies are going to make that save. And then the hat trick. Yep right there look at how quick it's a little snap boom Booza trying to get over and make the play puts it where he has it. 
And then the icing on the cake for the Dow High Chargers. Yeah, Churchfield just puts on his speed, blows right by the defender there. Not expecting him to attack the net. Nice little redirect backhand. Churchfield getting his name on the board, as you said. He, uh, he quietly had himself a pretty good game tonight himself, keeping the puck deep, keeping him off the board. Yeah, early in the season, you know, both of these coaches are going to have things that they can take away from the game here tonight. Obviously, Dow High, you know, played their brand of hockey. Dick Blake, he's got to be very happy that the Chargers did what they wanted to do and that the players, the leaders on the Chargers team did what they were supposed to do and they led tonight. Oh, yeah. I mean, Dow's, Dow's leadership team, they actually took control of this game about the halfway point, put the puck in the net. They kept pace going through the center ice, and they weren't turning it over, putting the puck back into the defensive zone, helping Fishman have a strong game. For Steve Witt in the Midland High Kimmicks, Vesey, you played a, a pretty good hockey game for a couple of periods. You're young, you're inexperienced, you're learning a lot on the ice. You kind of ran out of steam about halfway through the third period, but there's some building blocks there for Midland High. Absolutely, they are young, and the, and the young youth, they are getting playing opportunities, so they, they have to learn from these mistakes, because let's face it, they did make some mistakes tonight. They got caught flat-footed a few times with Dow Speed coming through the neutral zone, so they've just got to learn to you know close that gap a little bit, take the speed away, take the edge away, but you know they'll rebound, they'll watch film, to figure out where they're you know doing what they're doing right and what they need to improve on for the Dow High Chargers uh, picking up the win here tonight Dow High improving to three and one on the season the Midland High Kimmich dropping down to one two and one with the loss here tonight these two teams will meet again come February Vesey always a pleasure to have you by my side watching some hockey oh it's always great to be down here watching these two teams you know because you never know what you're going to get you know and, and 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 it proved again tonight you had a good even up and down first period he had Dow High getting a little uh, more physical, taking some penalties. Coach Blaze, he probably wasn't happy with in the second, but then they, uh, you know, regrouped and put it away in the third. Who knows what the next game will bring between these two teams? And of course, we thank you for tuning in to us here at MPF TV, MCTV, YouTube, whatever your method of watching and supporting MCTV and all of our staff and volunteers that make our high school productions possible. Final score here tonight, the Dow High Chargers 6, Midland High 1. Thank you for watching High School Hockey on MPS-TV.